What's up, Aquarius? Welcome to your weekly reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We'll be taking a look to see what messages need to come through for you guys for the week ahead. Get some insight with some guidance and overall see what's going on for you. I hope that you're doing well. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information for that's in the description down below. And if you want to follow me over on my Instagram and TikTok, you can find me there at Jade Stone Pro. And with that being said, Aquarius, let's get right into your reading and see what's going on for the next seven days. What you may need to know or be aware of what's going on for aquarius please show me clearly aquarius summarizing venus for the next seven days what do they need to know for aquarius summarizing venus for the next week show me clearly what's going on oh okay we got the stingray and the butterfly so you have a choice to make aquarius about the path that you're on and whatever you end up choosing or whatever you end up deciding it does change your life quite dramatically it's a very drastic change at the bottom we have the vulture the panther and the cheetah Ooh, and the fire ants. Okay, so three out of four of these cards that are at the bottom definitely are talking about um, heightened energy. Um, not in the most positive way. So as of lately, things maybe have been feeling really intense for you. Really just like super sensitive to the energy that's around you. People that you've been dealing with, circumstances going on. Even just talking about shit going on globally, right? There's like a lot of shifts that have taken place and you know you're really sensitive to the energy around you you're taking on a lot i feel like you're absorbing all this extra energy that's not even yours so really protect yourself really ground your energy because it feels like at this time i'm really picking up on a vibe for some of you like some of you are more prone to even spiritual or energetic attacks like i don't know if you have maybe been having some really stressful dreams too where like you ever dream about getting attacked or like you know um threatening kind of nightmares some of you might be having nightmares and that's a sign like you are really needing to protect your energy there's a lot of negativity in your life that needs to be purified um and then the vulture and the panther is all about purification is all about needing to cleanse 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 in all shapes forms sizes mentally emotionally spiritually physically in your area in your home in your space where you go to bed like cleanse everything i'm talking strip your sheets do a deep clean do a vacuum i'm talking about like deep clean in where you live especially as we're entering virgo season which we have the new moon in virgo coming up in like a couple days can't remember the exact date i think it's around the 27th 28th eighth give or take i think it's around then you can double check google it right the new moon in virgo but i bet i definitely am feeling for you guys heading into virgo season you need to start fresh you need freshness around you fresh energy get some fresh air like you guys are really needing that freshness okay fresh change of scenery um but yeah definitely the energy that's going on beyond these changes that are that are taking place in your life um you need to cleanse and purify and get rid of some things so some of you are leaving behind a relationship some of you are leaving behind a job an environment you know it's a life-changing decision you have some sort of decision that's not only going to impact you it's going to impact others that's the energy of the stingray so you're caught you're caught at a crossroad and what's getting in the way of you making this choice is because you're also considering how this decision is going to affect others that are in your life or who are in the way of this path like uh, yeah so whatever this decision is it's going to impact others as well as you um take your time feel things out be patient uh but sooner or later you're gonna have to make up your mind sooner or later you're gonna have to make a choice and this choice is about the old versus the new old life versus new life what you know versus the unknown it's so it's it there is some discomfort there definitely is discomfort even with the butterfly coming up we all know butterflies change and transformation is not easy it's very uncomfortable it's painful it requires you to let go it requires us to surrender um this can also talk about loss right so you've recently lost something or perhaps this week there's the a loss that's coming to an end and you know you might be really angry you might be really angry at yourself you might be really angry at the world you might be really angry with a person but um i think it's really important that whatever it is that you're feeling good bad ugly crying mad angry sad jealous like 
<laughs> or if you're on the opposite spectrum, you're really happy, you're motivated, you're excited, whatever you're feeling, um, feel it. Feel it, embrace it, really dive into that energy. Use that as your your courage. Use that as your, your fire, your motivation. Really use that to your benefit. I also feel like this week ahead, you're going to accomplish a lot. You're going to get a lot of things done. Um, you know, you're clearing out blockages, things that are getting in the way of your path, things that are getting in the way of where you're supposed to be. You are... I'm, you're like plowing through i just get the imagery of like a snow plow <laughs> so uh yeah you're like plowing through the snow you're plowing through all that that cold hard difficult heaviness you're you're plowing through it all um kind of also giving me a bit of six of swords energy so you are you are moving with a purpose you have this purpose you have this idea you have this goal in mind and um it may be getting triggered it's due to some sort of loss or it's due to some sort of change or decision that's creating this transformation that's taking place in your life so really interesting energy um you're really stepping into your potential you're learning a lot some of you are seeking mentors or you are going to be crossing paths with someone that plays a really important role in your life that helps you that teaches you that shows you a lot about yourself um so that's something you can expect as well there's someone in your life or someone that you can be crossing paths with that really encourages you to step in your strength to step in your power and um like change your life for the better it's really powerful let's see what else is going on for aquarius sun moon rising venus for the next seven days what do my aquarius need to know for the week ahead i feel very serious as i'm giving you guys this reading like i feel very like flat almost it's weird i don't want to be in that energy ace of pentacles reverse so i'm kind of sensing with this ace of pentacles reverse there's something that didn't go according to plan this may have been a false start this may have been a missed opportunity this may even be talking about delays and now we are officially in the pre-shadow of mercury retrograde which officially goes retrograde on the 9th of september so that's always fun it always stirs things up it's always causing delays so for some it's like there's a delay in something that's coming in or a project or you know you're waiting on some sort of response for some if this is a new job you're waiting to get the call back that you got it or like when you start or like you know there's something that you're kind of like waiting on for some of you for others this is like a missed opportunity or even rejection or um we'll see how else this could play out <laughs> we need more cards of course we have the nine of cups so there's there's a false there was a false starter. There was some sort of disappointment. There's something that you really thought was taken off the ground or you got really excited. You got really hyped. And then for some reason, we have the Ace of Pentacles coming out reverse. Um, we have the Hermit, Knight of Swords come out. Anything else for Aquarius for the week ahead? Five of Swords. And is there anything else for Aquarius? I guess you guys are getting extras today. Hangman. Hey, yeah um three of cups seven of wands nine of wands and strength at the bottom of the deck and even the world so i do see that some sort of cycle is reaching completion it's requiring oh it's requiring a lot of strength a lot of determination to not quit to not give up even when times feel really challenging and i'm also picking up on a separate message here with the three of cups to the seven of wands some of you in your current environments re friendships relationships workplace you feel like you're the odd man out you feel like you're an outcast typical oh you know people the stereotype of aquarians is like you guys are the outcasts you guys are the weirdos it's like no you're fucking not right you're not but like i've i swear i've heard i've heard a couple of people be like oh my god aquarians like what the <laughs> you know it's stereotypical it's just like someone calling a cancerian which i'm a cancer every cancer is a crybaby it's like no that's not true shut the fuck up like you know you don't know what you're talking about um no but some of you feel like you're an outcast or some of you are feeling like you're not really belonging with your current relationships or friendships you're kind of feeling like you you don't really belong you don't really fit in or even if you are kind of close with these people you there's still part of you that feels like they don't really understand you or they don't quite get you or they don't um you know you can't fully be yourself around them almost like you're wearing a bit of a mask or watering yourself down which you should not be doing and if that's the case spirits really coming through for whoever that message is for it's like if you have been watering yourself down in any way shape or form um not allowing yourself to really step into your potential the energy of the snake underneath all these cards of the animal deck then that needs to be let go of that needs to be gone be gone be gone okay 
because it's almost like you've been limiting yourself or restricting yourself or holding yourself back from actually being free and having fun and enjoying life like you've been putting yourself like in a box and it's time to break out of that box it's time to push through that and I feel like in a way with this Ace of Pentacles reverse, this could even be talking about self-sabotage where maybe you're getting in your own way, you're getting in your head, you're getting in your success or getting in the way of your success or, you know, success in any anything, personal goals, money, relationships, whatever, like purposely, not even, no, not purposely wrong words not purpose it's opposite it's not even on purpose it's just like a subconscious thing that you might struggle with where you may feel like you don't deserve it or like whatever like whatever it is that you're telling yourself some of you are just like getting in your own way and getting in your own head and basically shutting yourself down before others may reject you so it's like you reject yourself first as like a defense mechanism so that you don't get hurt right because you're so used to getting excited and getting hyped up and looking forward to something just for it to fall through or not happen or leave you feeling disappointed or you know expectations versus reality <laughs> you know like we all been there right you order something online expectation versus reality it's like wow <laughs> so you're like i'm not gonna do that again but then then you just you watch life pass you by and nothing's happening and you just kind of feel stuck and it's it's not fun and i see that healing is also taking place this week there's a moment or there's some time in the coming week the next seven days where um there's a day or a couple days where you're kind of in isolation or you're kind of keeping to yourself you're kind of just laying low and i feel like i feel like we've had that energy come through for you guys recently maybe i'm getting mixed up with a different sign but um you're definitely keeping to yourself because there's a lot that you're reflecting on it, it appears here that you're reflecting on a situation between like a like you other people a situation where you were hurt a situation where you felt misunderstood or ganged up on like some of you feel like you were being ganged up on like seriously i am picking up on an energy a serious serious group i'm picking up on where this is involving the people that you surround yourself with your friendship circle family work related i don't care but the people that are closest in your circle um i feel like as of recently or the next com couple of days um you're you're experiencing some sort of hurt in relation to that like judged or like maybe someone hurt your feelings or said something really rude to you or offended you and when you went to express how you felt they shut you down and told you that you're too sensitive and that you need to get over it and like they didn't apologize or something like that perhaps and you now you feel like you don't belong you feel like you're pushed away or you're being shunned or ignored like that's the feeling like literally with the hermit coming out too i just am picking up on like you feel like an outcast or you feel like people are pushing you away or judging you in some sort of way and that's that is such crap that is such crap and so as you're kind of like reflecting on this hermit and the hangman right you're like well how can i view this from a different perspective why is this happening here um it's because you know i think you're realizing that you need a change in your relationships you're happy on your own look at this nine of cups you're really fulfilled on your own you love yourself you're working on that self-love self-care um independently when you're alone you really enjoy your own company i'm really picking up on that energy coming through for you guys is that you enjoy alone time and if not if you struggle with that spirit is really asking you to prioritize alone time and getting more comfortable with your own energy because if you don't like your own energy aquarius let's be real here if you don't like your own energy <laughs> oh my god this might come across harsh if you don't like your own energy well then how can you expect other people to like your own if you don't like your own presence if you don't like spending time with yourself then how could you think other people would like to be around you i'm just saying okay so some of you need to some of you need to hear that i'm sorry if that came across harsh but like i'm gonna just say it how i feel and that's just straight up like it's a lesson a lot of us have to learn if you don't like your energy if you don't like yourself <laughs> like like that's a big issue here and like some of you are aware they're like i know i'm trying i'm working on it it's like i get it and it's a process that you got to be patient with yourself on and it does require a lot of room to grow and get rid of a bunch of shit so what better way than to start now if you don't like where you're at if you don't like your life or the people that are in your life well 
you have the power to change your life or to make changes or adjustments in any way and it, it shows here with the stingray and the butterfly it shows that you're making these changes so that you can start living a more enjoying fulfilling life and so the fact that we have the nine of cups with the knight of swords coming out next to each other it definitely seems like you're taking the right steps to get to that um kind of type of life i can't even wear my words <laughs> you're you're taking the the steps that will bring you towards having that fulfillment and having that enjoyment there's just been some things that have been um blocking you from having that or just like detours almost in a way or like this is happening so that you can really step into your best life and it also feels like this is giving you the opportunity to clear out anything that doesn't serve you because that's we don't you don't need this kind of fake love or fake energy in your life when you have good things going on for you if you're having this kind of fake love where maybe it's very superficial or you know all you do is talk a bunch of shit with these people and it's not actually helping you grow and evolve as a person all you do is just talk and gossip and you know get into god knows what um if it's not really helping you grow as a person or helping you um like expand like if it's just, if you're surrounding yourself with people that are really just a bad or negative influence on you that is gonna be and that's what we were talking about in your last reading yeah because the full moon in aquarius right your sign um really was highlighting our communities and really highlighting the people our the people we surround ourselves with especially friendships um and knowing your worth in your friendships we always say oh know your worth know your worth know your value but most people take that in love but you have to apply that to all your relationships know your worth because friends are friends are types of relationships too and they can they can cause a lot of that shit in your life as well as not just romance you know so just keep that in mind and i do feel like there's multiple people that this this message is resonating about like multiple people in your life that you know you probably should like not really hang around with or you know they're not really the best of friend or you know that they don't there it's a fake kind of love or it's very and nothing wrong with surface level friendships right there's all types of friendships not everybody's gonna be that deep dive and like you know for sure like we gotta have a mix we gotta have a variety there's many different relationships out there but like um the friendships that aren't genuine right that are just more fake slash user kind of vibe that's gonna be stripped away um if you wanted to you can do it if you don't well it's only a matter of time before it falls into place magically like i you know because you can stick around in these relationships environments but one way or another it will be removed from your life that's what i'm feeling from this well that's, that's what i'm seeing here it's inevitable so um i won't stand a chance is what i heard so some of you some of you are really finding the strength the courage to walk away which i think i was mentioning that earlier at the beginning of the reading with the panther and the other card i can't remember what it is vulture um so some of you are really like finding the strength the courage to walk away from those types of people those types of connections you know because you've been like well i feel like the outcast already i'm lonely and i'm surrounded by all these different people so i might as well just be alone but not feel alone you know like just because you're alone doesn't mean you're lonely um, just because you have people around you doesn't mean that you don't feel lonely, right? You get the whole gist. So it, literally these two cars going next to each other, it looks like you are, you're kind of turning your back and you're walking away and some of you are like, well, fuck it, I'm just going to be a lone wolf for now. But actually, that's not the case. It actually feels like there's someone who's helping you or there's someone who's by your side or someone who's supporting you through this. Um, you'll find yeah you're, you're gonna see who your real friends are and i believe i said that to you very recent ago like very very recent within the last month i know it, i think i even put it in your title um so just saying so yeah you're finding out who your real friends are who's real who's genuine who actually cares and loves you and wants the best for you versus those that just are come and go right but i do see by the end of this week something in your life is changing something in your life has reached a peak it's it's wrapping up and there's closure and there's the end of a cycle so 
with that being said i mean you can't go back from that right you can't go back transforming into the butterfly you can't go back to becoming a caterpillar there is no return and that's what it feels like this week it's like this is the point of no return for you aquarius where there's a lot of things that you need to reflect on there's a lot of things that you need to take a look at but for the for the long term this is going to be for the best and you know that deep down as it might be a bit of a tough pill to swallow but you're handling it and you're taking it as it comes and you're just like okay i surrender <laughs> uh yeah so hang in there stay strong this too shall pass um this is gonna be worth it in the end it's all gonna fall exactly into place so have faith in that have trust in that and i'm here for you i'm sending you good energy and yeah so i'm gonna leave the reading here i hope that this was helpful and insightful that you enjoyed if you did let me know in the comments below leave a like subscribe to the channel and if you want to book a private reading with me the information for that's in the description i don't know if i already said that i can't remember brain fog today um, but yeah, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, Aquarius, and I'll talk to you in the next one.